Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. Here's my email address if uh, you want to ask me something about Symbility or Xactimate. My email address Hector Mendoza Justin at yahoo.com. Here are a bunch of videos. This is an eight part series on how to become an adjuster from actually doing your uh, application all the way to doing the, the uh, claim. Here's uh, some other <clears throat> videos in Xactimate and Symbility. So you can go through those. And if there's something you want to know how to do in Symbility and Xactimate, you'll definitely find it in, in, in one of my videos because I go through everything in Xactimate and everything in Symbility. So, uh, those are some of my videos. So let's uh, right now. What I'm going to show you is what the ceiling editor and Symbility will do. Okay. So basically, uh, in Xactimate, you would change your ceiling in the preferences. Uh, so let's go to <clears throat> first of all. I'm going to select a room. And I'm going to click ceiling editor. So basically, what it's going to do is it's going to give me a 2D of this right here. So basically, it's like actually it's going to be like a 3D. Okay. So I'm going to go to ceiling editor. And right now, it's a flat roof, right? So I'm going to go to ceiling editor. And see, that's that room. This right here shows you where we're that if you're standing right here, this is what you would see. If, if uh, you know, if you were standing right here, this is what you would be looking at. So, you know, in the back of my house, you have the two car garage. There it is, right there. Now, this is where you're going to change. Let's say that this was a peaked. Uh, ceiling instead of selecting flat you would tell it peak and you know it's right now it, it changed it from uh, six foot or excuse me eight foot to a nine foot let's say I change that to I can go in here it should be, uh, it's not letting me change it oh there it goes uh, I'm going to change it to a 12. Oh, cancel. I don't know why I didn't want to change it to a 12. I might have hit up 120. Oh, uh, that's kind of weird. It says that. Uh, oh, it could be because. Uh, oh, yeah. It's because of that. Uh, of that. Do, uh, that uh, door to do an angle like that it would have to be 18 feet because of that door now if I delete that door I think I could change it into a 12 so now to go from the ceiling editor back to what I consider 1D or it's called the floor plan see this little icon right here all you got to do is click there and it takes you back to that uh, plan. Okay, so I'm going to delete this thing and see if it will make a difference. So let's go back to the ceiling editor. And this time, I'm going to tell this thing to be 12 feet. Yeah, you see? Well, it's weird. It, I, I guess it only lets you do certain... Uh, I guess it has to be it. I has. I guess we have to change this one, and then let me see if it lets you change. Uh, I'm gonna have to check that one out. But anyway, this is where you change your slopes. Of of. Uh, oh, it could be because of you know because we have all this other. Uh, uh, rooms connected to each other so let's check that thing out 
So let's go and create a room away from everything else. <clears throat> Never had that problem before, so this is okay. So let's see if I go in here and create a room by itself, and then go in here, go to the ceiling editor, uh, and I'm going to make it a slope. Uh, it, it, okay, I, I, anytime, anytime that you make a change on a particular room, when you create a new room, it's going to take on those same settings. And that's what it just got through doing. But let's see now if I can actually change this to a 12 since there's not a room next to it. That, that's what the problem was. But, oh man, look, it changed that to a one foot. Uh, that's crazy, man. <laughs> so let me see if I change to a five. Oh, I guess maybe let me do it this way. Uh, let's say I want that eight foot. Okay. Hmm. I guess you have to play around with it till till it lets you. Uh, let me just change this to a fourteen. See what it does. You see, when I change it to a fourteen, look what it did down here. So you change that to a 14, now you can change this back to an 8. Okay, now you got 18, excuse me, 8 and a 14 slope. Okay, so I'm just going to change it back to a, a flat uh, flat roof. So let, let, let me show you the closest thing that I can find in stability is, you know, what I like about Xactimate, you can hit 3. Or 3D, you know, uh, the pull down for 3D, and you can see 3D of a room or a roof or anything. Okay, so you know, it's pretty easy to select a few items if they're next to each other like this, and go into your ceiling editor, and that kind of gives you. Remember, we we change that slope. And you can kind of see a 3D version of those rooms. Okay, so, but if you go in and uh, going back and forth takes a while, if you notice. If you went in and, hey, let me change this to, uh, oh, if you double click, what happens is you get your, uh, uh, estimating tools and it takes it a while sometimes so it has to preload the pricing but once it loads once then it, it loads real quick uh, so let's go in here into the ceiling editor and change it from a slope to a flat hit floor plan and so if I wanted to uh, see everything in, th in what I consider 3D, you could select everything and go to your ceiling editor and it kind of gives you a 3D. But, you know, because of the ceiling, and you can't tell that ceiling to be clear like you can Xactimate, I can't see in between where all my walls and stuff are unless if you look at it this way. So that's basically the thing with the uh, ceiling editor. Thank you for watching this video. If you got questions, don't hesitate to email me. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to play around with this and see if I could get a better uh, way of looking at something 3D. Now, there is another way, but it still doesn't do what Xactimate does. Because uh, with Xactimate, I can look inside each room. I don't care if it's a 3,000 square foot home. Thank you for watching. Got a question? Don't hesitate to email me at Hector Mendoza Justin at Yahoo.com. Subscribe to me and you'll get uh, new updates of my new uh, uh, videos.